Now I would like to present our next student speaker, Will Bednars, to the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us tonight. To the graduating seniors in the crowd, congratulations to an accomplished Pensbury Falcon class of 2019. It's truly an honor to speak before such a distinguished group of graduates. But none of this could have been achieved without the generous help from family, teachers, administrative and custodial staff, and countless other people. So let's hear it for those that worked tirelessly so we could be on this field today. Four years ago, I was sitting right over there watching my sister graduate, having no idea what the next four years would entail. Now, I'm graduating, I'm a few inches taller, and can honestly say that my four years here have been some of the best of my life. Our journey together has been a long one, full of highs and lows. It started freshman year as our feet began to lightly tread Pensbury's path. In this first chapter, we read Romeo and Juliet, we overcame middle school rivalries, and tried way too hard in Kahoot. We made it through sophomore and junior year, navigating which subjects and clubs actually interested us, hurtling keystones, and still trying way too hard in Kahoot. We picked up our beloved Chromebooks along the way, along with numerous unblocked gaming websites we used to play Tetris. As the academic pressure mounted, we began thinking about where we would go next and arrived at the end of our path, our D period, our senior year. Here we are at graduation, our feet tired and our shoes worn. We have outgrown our beloved path, but a new one lies ahead. With high school drawing to a close, it is easy to look back at the path that brought us here and wonder what we could have done differently. We could have studied for that test and done better. We could have asked that girl or guy out. We could have tried out for that team or play. We could have tried to make a new friend in gym class. These regrets come from staying in our comfort zone or being afraid to take risks. Despite its name, your comfort zone is actually dangerous because growth can only come when you leave it. Instead of fearing risks, we should embrace them. FDR once said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Yeah, that's a great quote, but it's overused. So here's one from his cousin Teddy. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, who strives valiantly who, at the best, knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who, at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. We know what it's like to take risks already. Pensbury gave that to us. I mean, hundreds of us kissed a mural wearing donated lipstick to break a world record, and yeah, we smashed the old record. But on a more serious note, all of the friends we've made, all of the classes we have taken, and all the activities we've tried attest to the risks we've taken so far. But risk should come with the readiness to fail. As you begin to tread your next path, remember that if you fail, fail valiantly. Fail with your head high and your heart on fire, knowing that you tried. You did something new. You let yourself be vulnerable. You showed up for the world. The time that we've spent over the years at Pensbury has been truly unforgettable. The memories we've made between classes, little moments on the path, to the best, and I repeat, the best prom in America. Those will live on forever. However, as we begin to take our own separate paths, 
we should strive to take the risk. Lace up your shoes, class of 2019, and race forward. Your next path awaits.